Good morning, ladies. I hope you're having a great day. We had a great leadership conference and so thankful for those who were able to be with us, be watching. Uh, they will be posted online and you can access that material. Today I want to talk to you about the Christmas Carol, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. This carol was originally written in Latin dating back to the 12th century. But in 1851, an Anglican pastor, minister, uh, translated it to English. His name was John Mason Neal. I want to tell you a little bit about him. He was also the son of an Anglican clergyman. He went to Oxford, and he was a brilliant student and a prize-winning poet. However, while he was there, he was influenced and kind of attracted to Catholicism. He, he had very poor health, and because he kind of leaned towards some of those Catholic leanings, they did not give him a parish ministry. But he was appointed to direct Sackville College, which was really a home for older men. That elder, home for elderly men is still going strong today. And it was a perfect job for him because he was compassionate. He had a heart for needy people, but he was also a scholar who needed time to research and write. And so this is one of his products. And in our hymnal, there are four verses, but there are versions that have eight verses. Um, and yet in this hymn, what we find are just names and titles that describe the Messiah. So let's look at them. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. That's verse 1. Emmanuel is found in Isaiah 7, 14. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Matthew quotes that same passage in verse, chapter 1 and verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, is God with us? So Matthew gave us that interpretation. And what a gift, the God who is with us. Isaiah in 11, 1 and 2 gives us four names for God. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and of might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Our wisdom from on high, O oh, come our wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily, to us the path of knowledge show and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. How often do we need the wisdom of God in our lives? And there's some extra verses that use those other names. O come, O Lord of might, who to your tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times gave holy law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, Rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O rod of Jesse's stem, from every foe deliver them, that trust your mighty power to save, bring them in victory through the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O key of David, come, and open wide, 
our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high and close the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. What a promise that God delivers us. And when we trust his mighty power to save, brings us in victory through the grave to glory. This is not all there is. We have an eternal home awaiting us. And then the third verse that we're familiar with says, O come thou day spring, come and cheer our hearts by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Dayspring indicates how the light of heaven delivered us from our spiritual darkness. We find that name in Luke chapter 1, verse 79, proclaimed by Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, when he said, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high visited us. That's another reminder that God is with us today in our present current situation, regardless of how that looks. And then verse four, O come desire of nations bind, in one the hearts of all mankind. O oh, bid our sad division cease, and be yourself our king of peace, shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. This title, Desire of Nations, is a reference to Haggai chapter 2 and verse 7. In that verse, God foretells the great glory that would once again fill the temple because Jesus came in all of his glory. We are freed from living lives of captivity and isolation and discord. While ministering here on this earth, Jesus taught us to love God first and our neighbors as ourselves. He, the Lord Jesus, opened wide the doors to our heavenly home. So we can rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to us, O Israel. Emmanuel, God with us. As you listen to the Christmas carols this year, I hope those words will ring deep in your heart as you think about them, rather than as we often do just seeing them from rote memory. I hope you have a great day.